Okay, so difficulty level for experienced players, moderately challenging combat. You know, we played Persona 4 Golden on normal difficulty, and I feel like it was too easy. So I'd say we turn it up just a little bit and play Merciless. Let's do it, boys. <laughs> Time waits for no one. All are equal in its flow. All lives born to their ends. You who would protect the glimmer of the finite future, you have a single year. Go forth and live in the time given to you. Even if in these Halcleon days of repose, let your hearts guide you and never stray from its path. You're using too many big words, man. You're already breaking my brain. Things are gonna get serious. Good luck, Shrunk. I mean, how hard can JRPG get? Oh, wow. Head. And then pull the trigger. What the fuck? Off rip? Somebody's trying to shoot themselves? There's no way I can't! Jeez, what the fuck? What a way to start the game! <laughs> Where did that come from? Hey, Tatsumi Port Island. We visited this island in Persona 4. Whoa. What's going on? good bro just a normal day oh oh there's blood everywhere this is already way darker than persona 4 <laughs> i arrived so late i better hurry up bro there's kool-aid everywhere kool-aid man's just dripping his juices everywhere now the buttons are lit up guess the elevator's out of order i mean i feel like everything's out of order in this place looks like the power's out yeah i wonder why there's fucking blood everywhere all the maintenance workers are dead okay there's more blood over here what is this coffin like object is this a coffin? Oh, this is Patrick. I'm very confused and very concerned as well. Like, where the hell am I supposed to be going? Iwata die dorm. I guess this is it. Oh god. Persona 3 Reload. Well, that's one hell of a title drop. Why is this dude, like, really blurry right now? Should I turn up Welcome. the graphics? Mysterious boy. Oh god. You're late. What the? I've been waiting a long time. Is this boy a dachi? He's just snap vanishing behind me. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. Oh no, this is, this is my uh, contract to the Velvet Room? There's no need to be scared. What is the protagonist's name in this? Makoto Yuki? I think I typed that in, right? Oh, well, now he has all my information. And so, it begins. He just transforms into Igor. Oh god. All right. Who's this? Oh, this is the girl that tried to shoot herself. What's up? How are you here at this hour? Don't tell me. What? Does she have a gun on her? Uh oh. All right. I am very confused right now. Why are the characters like really downscaled right now? Is this normal? My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live hmm. in the storm. Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm not gonna remember any of these names. He's a transfer student. It was a last-minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? Motherfucker, I got no choice. You think I can go I back now? See? This is Yukari Takeba. Yukari Takeba. I'm gonna call her suicide girl. Why do you have a gun? <laughs> That's a very good question. Well, uh, it's sort of like a hobby. A hobby? Is this whole game taking place in America? You know how it is these days. It's for self-defense. That didn't look like self-defense in the intro. It's not a real gun, of course. Yeah, okay, okay. What was that contract for? Did I just sign my rights away? Huh? Contract? Oh, shit. What are you talking about? Yep, we definitely just signed something away. We signed our souls away. On your way here from the station, was everything okay? Describe okay, because I walked in and there was just blood splats everywhere. I guess that means you're fine. Okay. Well, here's my dorm. Life in the dorm starts today. The room came pre-furnished and everything. I'm spent. I should put my things in the closet and get to bed early. Alright. Can I fix the graphics real quick? There we go! That's much better. Accessing downloadable content. Purchased DLC can be redeemed by checking the closet in your room. This is where we store all our DLC? Yeah, I don't own any of the DLC because I already spent $70 on this game. You really think I'm going to buy DLC? See my tired face reflected in the mirror. I should go to sleep early today. Motherfucker, you look like you get too much sleep. The next day. Hey. Takeba, are you awake? Should I just stay silent? <laughs> Nobody's home. Are you ready to go? Uh, no. Hey. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. 
pretty cool, huh? Yeah. I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Why, why does this animation look so oh, weird? Way, <laughs> like the train was just bent and still going forward. Damn. This place looks beautiful. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gecko Khan High School. I hope you like it. I hope I do. Uh, which class are you in? I'm curious. Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Okay. About last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? What I saw? I mean, can I even describe what I saw last night? Class 2F, Makoto Yuki. Hmm? The name Yukari Takeba is also on the list. Yeah, of course we're classmates. Oh god, they really captured the feeling of not knowing where you're going on your first day of school. Listen closely. A true man should always carry the fiery soul of a samurai within them. Uh, why is this dude wearing a helmet? How wonderful. I wish to set my soul on fire and learn the ways of the great samurai also. Is this dude French? Can't wait to hear that dude saying ha ha ha, saying ha 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 the entire time. Oh, hello there. Distressed student. Wait, I recognize this girl. Chihiro, right? We met her in Persona 4. You want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much? Could've just asked. I mean, I can fill your bread with cream if you really want me to. This seems to be the faculty office. Should I go in? Sure. Um. <laughs> this dude's acting like me when I go to the faculty oh, office. Let's see. Ten years ago, your parents... Oh, my parents? Yeah, this kid's parents are dead. I'm Ms. Toriyumi. I teach composition. What is composition? Uh, thanks. Nice to meet you. What's your first name? <laughs> What's your first name? You don't need to know my first name. Don't ask such things of a teacher. <laughs> I'll ask whatever I want, bitch. <laughs> no Riz. Yeah, Makoto's got no Riz. And so, another new school year is upon us. Hey. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Hey, I've heard that before. Hey. Why is this dude whispering to me? You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? Yeah. I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? Dude, we'd known each other for like... A day. <laughs> oh, and uh, does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Why is this dude like peeping over at my girl? I'm gonna say she does. Just to fuck with him. Ah, oh, man, I know it. <laughs> Y'all know the boyfriend is me after school. Oh, wow. The day is over just like that. I wish school would go by that fast. Up, dude? How's it going? Hey. What? Don't look at me like that. What is this dude's voice? Call me Junpei. Junpei Yuri. Junpei Iori. Okay, I've definitely heard of him. So, I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? Okay. I guess he is a pretty nice guy. And there it is, the best comic relief character in Persona. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, hey it's Yukatan! Yukatan? Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. There you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. You know, he's my best friend. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Yeah, I know, it's just a coincidence. It must be fate. I don't have the courage to say this right now. Oh, fucking... <sighs> anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Why does everyone think we're dating immediately? Like, we literally huh? just met each other. What are you talking about? We just happened to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? You didn't tell anyone about you-know-what, did you? I have no idea what she's talking about. What are you even talking about? Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? Nope. Uh, I think Junpei noticed something. What? Last night? Oh no. What's going on? Don't get the wrong idea. I just met him yesterday, and there is absolutely nothing between us. Yeah, okay. Little does she know, it's actually me starting the rumors. Hey, new kid, you have no idea how lucky you are. You're surrounded by cute girls in 2F, like Takeba-san. Hey, did I just, like, luck out on the best girl of the school? I'd say best girl definitely isn't this girl right here. <laughs> Yukari has a secret twin, just like Kaede. Oh my god, the gaslighting begins, man. <laughs> oh, guess a new school semester started. I was wondering why I've been seeing so many students around. The world's a strange place these days. These kids better prepare themselves for the future. Why do I have a bad feeling that my character isn't going to have a future? Alright. Welcome back. It's a lot less creepy than when I first walked in here. It's dangerous to go out on your own at night. Please refrain from doing so. 
Besides, you must be tired after today. You should make sure you get a good night's rest. Am I just gonna get murdered if I try to go outside during nighttime? I'm going oh. out for a bit. Who's this guy? Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. Apathy syndrome? Isn't we that just like, care. I don't care? <laughs> That's what apathy means, right? That's a dachi but younger? Uh, I mean, I feel like you're kind of reaching with that. <laughs> they say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, Why do we gotta speak in pronouns, bro? My time. Can you just say their names? These characters look a lot older than our characters, like me and Yukari. Hey, have you heard the rumor about, uh, what was it again? The bathroom? Whenever her mom tries to talk to her, the only thing she says is, it's coming, it's coming. Hey, yo? <laughs> in the bathroom? That's kinda crazy. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzel Kasai. Ugh, why him? I've been more interested in Tota Kaneko's work lately. Yeah, I feel like when a teacher isn't interested in the subject that they're teaching, I feel like they shouldn't be a teacher here. <laughs> Speaking of haiku, they often use words or phrases related to seasons, but it's easy to get them mixed up. For example, you think tasty bamboo shoots and vivid carp streamers would symbolize spring, right? Well, they're actually related to summer. Haiku poets usually refer to seasons based on the lunar calendar, making it fairly complicated. Hey. Hey, Iori, are you listening? Here's a question for you. Among these phrases, a rain of flowers, mystical mirage, and vivid carp streamers, which one symbolizes summer? What? Wha- what? Psst! Makoto, you were listening, right? Lend a brother a hand. Well, vivid carp streamers, right? Yep, that's right. Hey, <laughs> So you were listening to me after all. See, I'm the smart kid. I'm the smart kid and the quiet kid joined together. Just give me a gun and I'll be the full package. My boy Wakoto doesn't want to do anything. He just wants to live by himself. The Iwatadai strip mall is bustling with activity in the afternoon. I'm about to bustle all over this place. Okay, never mind. I guess we're just going back home. So, this is our new guest. Sophisticated gentleman. Of course he crosses his leg over the other. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Shuji Ikutsuki. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? Uh, not really. That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Proper room assignment? What does that mean? Is there anything you'd like to ask? Why are you here? Who else lives here? The other night I saw... Fuck it, I'm just spilled beans. I don't give a shit. You saw... something strange? Like what? Like somebody's shadow. <sighs> you were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. I don't know, man. I feel like these characters are trying to gaslight me the same way you guys are trying to gaslight me in chat. As diligent as always. But it couldn't hurt to come down and say hello. I can come down on you if you want me to. There are only four students in this store. Really? This huge-ass building for four students? Oh, no, that's gotta mean that this place is cursed, right? I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh... Bro, you need to get out. What the hell is this? So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Am I like an experiment or like a robot? <laughs> Why are they all monitoring me? Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. This is creepy. The dark hour is approaching. Uh oh, the dark hour. What does that mean? Yeah, that girl in jeans is kind of thick, though. Uh, it sucks. I don't blame you. This is, this is the only guy who doesn't have anyone to talk to. I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story. Bro, I feel you, man. I feel you. The time is now 12 a.m. Uh-oh, it's midnight. We all know shit happens at midnight for some reason. I don't know what it is about Persona and midnight. Oh, shit. Huh? Oh, so this is what the dark hour means, huh? Whoa! What's happening to me? Is this guy a goo monster? What the hell is going on? This kind of remind me of Majora's Mask. Hmm. He's still sleeping. Yeah. 
The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. I mean, to be fair, my guy didn't have any reaction to this shit when he was outside. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. Human form? He may be My asleep, monster? But he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Huh. Scary. Are all these guys, like, supposed to be experiments too, or am I the only one? I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Why are we spying on me? Uh-oh. Oh, we're going to the velvet room! What's an elevator? Ooh. Got a different attendant this time? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Oh, Igor sounds different. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. <laughs> Bro, it's Gru. <laughs> he kind of looks like Gru. I never thought about that. This is Elizabeth. Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Like the queen? Igor has the best cut. <laughs> oh my god. He's got that LeBron fade. <laughs> That's the document I signed in the dorm. Oh, so we did sign a contract From with the Velvet on, Room. You shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. Okay. You were destined to hone your unique ability. <laughs> my ears. You will require my assistance to do so. Sorry, I, I know I'm not a choir singer in real life, all right? Abide by your contract and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. I mean, that just sounds like real life, but okay. Hold on to this. Hold on to what? These nuts. <laughs> Feels like I had a strange dream. It's time to go to school. Yo, I'm so sleepy today. In times like these, the best course of action is to sleep during class. <laughs> that adrenaline rush you get from dozing off right in front of the teacher can really spice up your dreams. Then again, since I'm not listening to the lecture, I'm pretty much screwed later. Yeah, he knows that I'm gonna be answering for him, so that's why he's gonna keep sleeping in class. This is- <laughs> I don't know if this is a good friendship here. Now, some people say classic lit isn't relevant anymore. Oh, but they're wrong. <laughs> you could say it's very lit. Am I right, guys? I'm feeling sleepy. Oh, no. <laughs> Should I close my eyes for a few minutes? Eh, ah, yeah, let's just close our eyes. It's not gonna go away. I can feel the teacher's glare as it's starting haunting off. It's like my courage is being tested. It's like... Competition for dominance right now? Like, what are we doing? Sup? How's it going? Sup, Junpei? Somewhere on the way home? Yo, can we actually do something? Where? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat. Sure. That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. Oh, please tell me we're gonna go get ramen. This is Polonia Mall. Polonia Mall. Okay. So this is like our uh, Juness of this game, right? Oh my God, it's the Jack Frost. Oh, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Yo, can I play the crane game? I want a Jack Frost doll. Ah, damn it! Oh, come on, man. I am not leaving empty-handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Dude, this guy would go broke so yeah, fast in Vegas. That's it, yo. <laughs> one more try. Just one more. They say 90% of gambling addicts quit before they're about to win big. You're pretty late. I don't mean to be overbearing, but please don't make this a regular occurrence. Yeah, they seem pretty pissed when I arrive late. Well, in any case, you look quite tired. Why don't you go to bed early tonight? That, uh, I don't know about this, man. We do not allow you to go out after dark. Sorry, but rules are rules. Yeah, but why is it only specifically me, though? Oh, there's gotta be something in here, right? I feel my mind starting to wander as I wash my hands. I already see cherry blossoms in full bloom. It feels like springtime has finally arrived. Oh, he's just washed our hands? I thought there was going to be some portal inside the toilet or some shit. I feel exhausted. Maybe it's because I haven't gotten used to living here. I don't know, man. You just seem depressed. Just who was that old man from the dream I had last night? What was that contract all about? Yo, this got to be against some law. I feel like I was forced to sign that contract. You're still technically in tutorial mode. You'll eventually be allowed to do whatever you want. Okay. Fucking knocked out cold. 
Oh, they're still spying on us. Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. I mean, it sounds like me. I don't change clothes before I go to sleep. I can sleep in a tuxedo if I really wanted to. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. We gotta have some sort this of mental health problem. This rather unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Yeah, you're literally just watching over me the entire time. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Yeah, okay. Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Uh-oh. Command room speaking. Akihiko, Command room? What's wrong? Where, where is this even set up inside of the You're building? I'm not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. That's what she said. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? It seems Mr. pretty big. Chairman, I wonder what it is. That's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Oh, damn. Akihiko. He got fucked up. <sighs> you good, Akihiko? I'm all right. Imagine if it was just Makoto's, like, giant cock. He's got slapped up by it. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? I feel like he'd be woken up by now. <laughs> oh, yep, he's woken up. A loud noise woke me up. I should check what's happening outside. All right. Yeah, I'm woken up, Yukari. Uh-oh. Bro, imagine if Makoto was naked and she just barged in like that. Oh, wait. Take this, just in case. What's she gonna give me? What's that? Short sword? Oh, yeah, we're definitely about to unlock our personas. Okay, let's go. Well, let's go. I'm ready for battle. All right. We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read oh. me? Y yes, I hear you. Is that through an intercom? We don't have a phone on us. There appears to be more than one enemy. Uh oh. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. Oh god. Uh, oh, let's pull back. God damn it, bro! I knew this shit was cursed. I have a feeling going up when the whole building is shaking isn't a great idea. It's getting closer. Ugh! What is that sound? Keep moving! Hurry! Yeah, we gotta keep moving. Right. If we go out through here, then. Oh, we're on the rooftop. Are you sure we're safe outside? I've locked the door, so we should be safe for now. I feel like it's more dangerous to be outside than inside in this situation. Uh oh. Huh? Yeah, that door isn't gonna hold up. <sighs> Damn, this cutscene looks beautiful. Oh god, that doesn't look beautiful. No way. Okay. Yep, those are definitely shadows. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? One of the monsters that attacked us. It's a shadow. God, get the gun. You know, typically when you have a gun, you would shoot it at the other thing, not at yourself, but okay. Oh. Ah. I have the gun now. Pick up the gun, Makoto. We got it. Why the hell is the moon green? That's a very good question. Why is it green? Go on. Am I united with this kid? Is that the younger version of me? For so uh, okay. I love how you didn't even question it. He just knew about it. Thou art I. From the sea of thy soul, I come. I am Orpheus. Orpheus, okay. Master of Strings. Damn. 
I mean, it's not as cool as Izanagi, but I'll take it. Suicide has never looked cooler. What's up with uh, having to shoot ourselves in the head? I don't know how I feel about that. Okay. He's definitely showing emotion now. <laughs> oh, that's a lot more badass now. There we go. Yeah, I'm just saying. I know looks aren't everything, but this persona looks OP. <laughs> that man had absolutely no reason to think that would work beyond blind faith. He had no way of knowing that the gun would help. He was fully prepared to just shoot himself. I know, right? Why did he try shooting the gun at the shadow? Oh, you know, I thought I would get some uh, input on this, but I guess not. Yeah, Makoto just shot himself without questioning it. He's not okay. <laughs> what is wrong with this kid, bro? Oh! Those shadows! Did they break off from that other one? Yo, this music's banging, Augie! Okay. Guess we got a fire persona. Hey, yo, this game looks way better than Persona 4, <laughs> like graphics wise. Shit looks clean, baby. Bro, this is merciless mode? This shit is easy. Ouch, OBS, OBS bug. Oh no. Oh no, why does this always happen? Oh. Yeah, a bit too much for the first time. I think he's out, Yukari. Oh. I guess we're going back to the velvet room. It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Yeah, that was some serious shit, man. What kind of drugs did you put in my persona? Orpheus and Makoto are kind of cute, not gonna lie. Bro, what is cute about Orpheus? I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't paying attention to anything he just said. Oh damn, we just fast-forwarded like 10 days. What even happened? Were we just out for the entire time? I can feel someone's presence beside me. Oh, it's Yukari. You're awake. He was in a coma. God damn, where am I? Thank goodness you finally woke up. Yo, you didn't answer my question. Where am I, bitch? Oh, this is Tatsumi Memorial Hospital. It's just a short walk from the station. Ah, uh, Memorial Hospital? I don't know how I feel about that. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong. He said you were just exhausted. Huh. Hey, um... So nothing about that huge monster popping out of my body? You know? <laughs> I feel I'm like that's not very normal. I'm sorry I all back there. But, wow! That power of yours was really something. What were those things? You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Hey. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. So everyone knows about shadows and personas before I do. I wanted to tell you something. Oh. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. What do you mean? Why are you telling me this? I feel like we are getting pretty close my with you, Kari. My dad died in an accident when I was little. Ah. And my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? Oh, Are we all orphans? Is that what the, the whole theme around this whole team is gonna be? Everyone's just an orphan? This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. Oh, that's unfortunate. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. Oh, is that why she's so close with Mitsuru? So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. Okay. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kind of panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Actually, now that you pointed it out, I think most team members have dead parents or something. Oh, look at that. I'm solving the fucking mystery, boys. Why, Why is everyone is Batman? Batman? <laughs> Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. Oh, we're all grieving here. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. All right. See you. Bro was sleeping in for like a week straight. <laughs> That's basically my life. Oh, welcome back. I gotta say, I'm so relieved now that you're out of hospital. Don't push yourself though. You, do you want to get some rest? Don't worry, your room's safe now. Man, I feel like all we've been doing is fucking sleeping, man. This is boring. Ah, oh, there you are. Looks like you've recovered. 
I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. All right. Are they going to talk about how they're oh. spying on him? Watching him sleep at night? I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Bro, why does he look so pissed off at me? Hey there. Oh, there we go. He, now he's smiling. Okay. Oh, <laughs> there we go. He just back to pissed off. Would you believe me? If I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours. Oh, uh, excuse me? <laughs> the hell does that mean? That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Nah, don't- this better not be some bullshit as I'm just changing the clock. Daylight savings time. You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. Yeah. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? I guess not for my character, because he had no reaction to all that. That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. Ah. Sonata is so silly because sometimes he's so pissed off and the next second he's completely calm. Yeah, what is with this dude's expressions? I don't get it. Explain everything I to me. I know how you feel. Who would believe such a fantastical claim? But the dark hour does exist, and it occurs each night as the clock strikes 12. It will happen tonight, and every night to come. Okay. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. They're sleeping inside their coffins? But that's not what makes the dark hour so interesting. You saw them. Those creatures. What, the shadows? We call them shadows. Oh, okay. They only appear during the dark hour and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? This is all it is? Is there no chance to, like, face ourselves? Or is that just the Persona 4 thing? We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. Who the fuck thought of that name? Now that has to be a name thought of by, uh, Shuji. <laughs> On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the shadows. Ah, so we're the heroes, is what he's saying. Kiri Jokun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. Ah. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of ah. it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. The lost, okay. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. What about the police? I feel like the police wouldn't do shit. One thing I've learned about Persona is that the police doesn't do anything in these games. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Like me? Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. Yeah, so me. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. Okay. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I don't what? understand. <laughs> what he's trying to say is, we want you to join us. Okay. We've prepared an evoker for you. That's not an evoker. Like you to lend us your strength. I'm not sure I'm ready. <laughs> don't think too hard on it. Just hang out with us for a while. I don't want to. I want to go to bed. Can I just go to sleep for the entire year? Oh, they, they ruined my option to say no. All right. Evoker is what they call the fake gun. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Why can't we have something like normal? If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Yeah, why do I have to shoot myself to activate it? I can hear a voice ringing inside my head. Uh-oh. Is it Igor? Oh, no. It's just this thing. The social link. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. I have voice acting for this. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Fool Arcana. Alright. Why is it always the Fool Arcana? Rank 1 for Fool for the Seas! Tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Oh yeah, isn't Sunday our only day off? Well then. Shall we end this meeting? Stop, bro. Just stop. You know, because it's the week- Get the hell out! Get out! Get out! Hi. How have you been? Aw, oh, shit. It's the little boy again. The little boy who has my social <laughs> security number. How'd you get in here? I'm always by your side. That's kind of creepy. Soon, the end will come. He definitely looks like a younger version of me. Like, he has the same hair color, too. I remembered. So I thought I should tell you. I don't care. <laughs> we, we do, do not, not care. care. To be honest, I don't have much to tell you anyway. 
Good, then get out of here. Do you remember when we first met? Yep. I expect you to honor your commitment. What if I don't? Are you gonna take legal action against me? I'm always watching you, even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. Alright. Get the fuck out of here, kid. I'm trying to sleep. So, uh, when do I get freedom? <laughs> oh, it's daytime already. Looks like I slept till nighttime. You slept for the entire day? God damn it. Ooh, that's her casual outfit? That's that's kind of crazy for you, Kari. Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Who's that? Hey, hurry up. New character? Just a sec. Oh, it's Junpei. Junpei? Why are you here? Is he moving into the dorms? Don't tell me. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. He'll be staying here from now on. Hey, I don't know if Junpei actually knows about what's going on here. So, I don't... <laughs> what's up? I don't- I don't know if Junpei is gonna be ready for this shit. The man, the legend, the god himself, our boy. Damn, everybody loves Junpei. Is Junpei basically the Yosuke of this game? He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. Oh. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. So he does know about this shit. Okay. He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. But he said that's, you know, completely normal. And then, like, being Oops. confused, not remembering Keep anything. skipping through the text, my bad. You guys know that? Uh, didn't happen to me. I have no clue what you're talking about. Hey, what's with the tough guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. God damn it, who told him all about this shit? Had to have been the kid leaking my information everywhere. Man's be blaming the child? I mean, look, that, that child just appears out of nowhere. Stays in a coma for nine days and says nothing happens to him. <laughs> I mean, technically, nothing did happen to him in those nine days. Unless if Yukari was touching him up. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. <gasps> Ooh, we gotta go do something? Are we gonna go fight shadows? Sweetness, I'm getting pumped. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? <laughs> yeah, that, that's literally what I was gonna say. Tartar sauce? <laughs> it's a place that holds the key to understanding the dark hour. Or so we think. Okay. And the key. So I, I'm I'm guessing that's our TV world in this game, right? Alright. Everyone's here. Heck yeah! Let's get right into it. I love Junpei already. He's already given in the energy. Now, I'd like your undivided attention. I mean, you got it. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. There's probably even more out there. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Hey, place is gonna be full of tartar sauce. I asked this yesterday, but what is that tartar thing? Imagine we go into Tartarus and Junpei just starts licking everything. <laughs> Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Oh, so I guess we're at some sort of time limit when it comes to Tartarus. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? Yeah. The goal of our club, Seas, Seas. is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We oh, must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the Dark Hour itself. So what you're saying is we gotta kill one of the gods that's controlling Tartarus? Uh, I don't really get it. Do yeah. not lick the ancient prison of the predecessors of the great gods. I mean, that's totally something that Junpei is gonna do. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. I'll stay here and sit on my chair, because I'm the chairman. Not much point, anyway, since I can't summon a persona. Oh, wait, he's the only one who can't summon a persona? Why is he here, then? <laughs> What's the point of all this? There it is. Midnight. Oh, wait, still got a minute. <laughs> there it is. Quick, Junpei, start licking everything. This doesn't look like tartar sauce to me. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. 
Yeah, who created this shit? Why did we make a school on top of this place? <laughs> who thought that was a good idea? If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Yeah, I don't give a shit about how it works. I just want to kill shadows already. Damn, this looks cool. Wow. It's just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? Oh, okay. What? By ourselves? We'll be fine. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. That's me! A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? <laughs> Johnny Depp? I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! Uh, actually, could we have Jupe as a leader? That'd be kind of fun. You're in charge. Wait, why him? He doesn't look like a captain. Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Imagine Junpei being leader? Yeah, why Why can't he be leader? Wait, so Junpei, he, he has his persona, but he hasn't fought yet? How does that work? These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. There's gotta be one character that can fight without a persona. It's gonna be like some katana wielding badass. Or maybe they got like a shitload of guns or something like that. Let's go. Oh, there's blood everywhere. So, it's the real deal from here on, huh? Yep. You can finish the floors unlocked in one day. Okay, I'm gonna try to do that. Looks easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? I can hear you. Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Is Mitsuru our navigator for this game? Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. Ah, she is the navigator. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. Okay. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. Okay. This shouldn't be too tough. But proceed with caution. Yeah, we're just playing on merciless difficulty. You know, one of the easier difficulties of the game. Right. Let's begin. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. All right. Hold on. There's a shadow up ahead. Yeah, I'll get him. This is the first real battle for Takeba and Iori. Proceed with caution. I'll be fine. There's only one way they can get experience. Wait, I just realized Yukari has a bow. All right. Let's start by going over how to attack shadows. Yo, hold on. Hold on, Mitsuru. Can I listen to the song real quick? Oh. Yeah, the horn's going crazy on this one. When faced with an enemy, you have two primary options for fending them off. The first option is to use your equipped weapon. Okay. The second option is to use your persona. But remember, Every persona has its own strengths and weaknesses. Knowing how personas work will be crucial. Try summoning yours right now. Augie. Orpheus. Orpheus. Okay. Yes. Nice dodge. Okay. Looks like I'm up. All right, Junpei. Check this out. Oh, I guess he's just gonna act freely. All right, go for it, Junpei. Persona. Power slash. Sheesh. He's powerful. <laughs> Like my persona ability. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that was amazing. <laughs> Yukari's jealous because well she thinks it's show off. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Talk about two. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Yeah. Got it. Yukari needs to do some shit. Next battle. Oh, three shadows this time. Alright. Next, let's go over a useful approach for defeating enemies. Are, are you gonna teach me about one more? Most enemies have an elemental affinity that they have low resistance yeah. to. Targeting weaknesses is one of the best ways to deal damage. Ah, uh, yeah, I that, know how that works. It can also knock enemies down. Knocking down an enemy creates an opening, letting you continue your offense. Yeah, we get to do all out attacks too. Weaknesses, huh? Done. I'll show you how it's done. Wait. Let me handle this one. All right. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. Why is she pointing like that? I can do this. Garu. Nice. One more. Nay. Nice. Uh, you're not so bad yourself, you can die. That's it, talk about. Ooh, yeah. You give it a try. Da 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 da. Talk about weaknesses and one more. I know how this works. Like I said, persona veteran here. Well done. 
You struck the enemy's weakness. Yep. Keep that up and finish off the rest. All right, I'll finish them off. No, I did. Oh, okay. I guess that works. Fantastic work, Takeba. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Whoa, Junpei kind of hitting on Yukari. Can you try not being a creep? <laughs> I gave it two streams from now for the first game overs. Nah, we're never gonna game over. We got another one. Can't get the Shadow advantage detected. on him. Looks like they haven't noticed you yet. Now's your chance. Yeah. Try sneaking up on them from behind. Make sure you stay out of their field of vision. Play your advantage. Ah, oh, slice his ass. Literally slice his ass. Next, I'm going to explain a tactic for defeating several enemies at once. First, go ahead and strike an enemy's weakness. I gotcha. I'll keep track of tactical data, such as any enemy weaknesses you've identified. All right. If you ever forget an enemy's affinities, just let me know, and I'll get that data. I'm definitely gonna forget. Come. Assuming we're just gonna knock this guy down and then uh, right. hit the other now one with the one more. The other one. That's when you perform an all out yep. attack. Let's do it. It's a maneuver that engages the entire team in a coordinated assault when all enemies have been knocked down. Naturally, the enemy has no way of defending against this. It's one of the most reliable means of attack. Yeah. Whoa, that sounds so badass. Let's give it a try right now. I was a master of the shit in Persona 4. I may as well turn off the tutorials because. You know, I'm an expert here. I don't need any tutorials. Let's go! Here we go. Man, this looks really good. Got that HD all out attack. How'd you like our all out combo attack, you filthy shadows? Keep the change, you filthy shadows. It's like my body just knew what to do. That was magnificent teamwork. It's hard to believe it's your first time. Yeah, we're naturals at this As shit. If you grasp the flow of battle, you'll learn to coordinate with each other seamlessly. Let's apply what we've learned so far and continue exploring. All right. I detect another shadow up ahead. Take advantage of what you just learned. Try not to alert the enemy as you move. How do I not alert him? Is there like a stealth mode? Just walk up to him. Walk up to him. Walk up to him. Fuck it. Ugh. I've covered the basics of combat now, but the most important thing is making decisions based on the situation at hand. All right. I'll continue providing support, but this time, go ahead and try fighting on your own. Thank you, Mitsuru. I would like to have some freedom. I'm gonna have to memorize all the weaknesses. Nice. Your persona just now. It looks like you really do have a special power. Yeah, I'm the main character, bitch. This is our chance. Let's go! All out attack. Hey. Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. Yeah, I'm a special character. I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. Welcome back. So, how was it? Oh, that was fun. I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow. I never knew I had that kind of power. Yeah, Junpei is pretty powerful. But damn. Why do I feel so exhausted? Yeah, that's the problem with fighting shadows. We feel exhausted the next day. Or I guess for the rest of the day, I mean. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. Uh-oh. What's going on? That doesn't sound good. That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Oh. Is that why Makoto is always so tired? You all did much better than I expected. Yeah, well, I mean, I kind of have experience already with Persona games, so... At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. Oh, I already have. Yeah, rank two. Full for C's. That concludes the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Fucking student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Class 3D? <laughs> Imagine she just pops out of my screen. So she did get elected. Well... I guess she is the most popular girl in school. I thought Yukari was the most popular. You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Kirijo group, right? Oh, so that's why she has so much authority. As I begin my term as student council president, she rigged the votes. I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. Yeah, no one, no one's gonna give a shit. Let's be real. If this were real life, nobody would care. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation. 
and reevaluate your convictions. Bro, most of these motherfuckers are falling asleep. You really think they can dig deeply into their well of motivation, whatever the fuck that means? Dang, what a speech. I feel like nobody listened to that. No one's making any noise. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? Nope. You're such a rebel. Perfect timing. I'd like to speak to you for a moment. Regarding our exploration of Tartarus, Akihiko is still on the mend for now, so for now, I'd like you to lead the team in combat. Let's see. You never know when a powerful enemy might appear like the one you faced in the other day. It's best to be prepared or else you may find yourself in a, dis in a difficult situation. So whenever you like to explore Tartarus, just let me know and I'll gather everyone there. Also, since I'm sure there are other things you will need to take care of, you have permission to go out at night if you need to. Hey! Well, that's all for now, keep up the good work. Hooray! Let's go explore Tartarus! Oh, that reminds me. Let's discuss our first goal for this exploration. According to our research, Tartarus is divided into several different regions. If we continue to climb the tower, then we'll eventually reach a spot that leads to a new area. Reaching that spot should be our first goal. All right. Are you all ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Each floor's dimensions may vary, but don't feel compelled to explore every inch of each new layout. Oh, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. The layout here looks kind of familiar. Die, bitch! That's I've gotten the advantage. Yeah. Do some damage, you pick. Oh, they're weak to that. Sweet. Yeah, kill him. Looks like we've mapped everything on the Fuck! God damn it. I hit A, because I thought it was Persona 4. Oh shit. That's gonna hurt. Oh, that did a lot of damage. Yikes. Knock them both down. Look, it's pretty crucial to not take damage early on, especially since we're playing on Merciless. Take him out! You can break those yellow glowing stuff by attacking them to get items and sell from them. Ah, so I can attack these things, huh? Ah, okay. Dare Slash! Nice. No, I didn't mean- Fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage! Okay, I don't know why he didn't attack me. Okay, I'm not playing well right now. I'm really not playing well. Okay, there we go. We've completely mapped out this area. No, I did it! I did it again. We're gonna die. Nice dodge, okay. There we go. Get him out of here. Nice. Attack him twice. Get him out. Oh, don't you pay? No! Why is he so fast? I should really heal Junpei. God, they do so much damage. Yeah, get rid of him. I'm detecting a powerful enemy up ahead. Everyone stay sharp. Mini boss? Mini boss time? Judging by the frequency of the signal, this is undoubtedly a stronger foe. It'd be a wise decision to regroup before approaching. I mean, I think we're fine right now. Hmm, that device there. Maybe able to use it. Do check it out. Also, it was displaying a series of numbers. Hmm. hmm, I see. Go ahead and select the first floor on that device. That should bring you back. I don't want to leave yet. Oh, we have checkpoints. I see. I knew it. Those devices are teleporters. They're portals that are all connected to one another. Okay. Once activated, you should be able to travel between any of the other devices. Oh, so it's not just one way. Be sure to activate any you come across. They'll be quite useful during future expeditions. Okay. Hello there. They gonna attack us? All right. It's enemy territory up ahead. Are you ready for battle? Uh, let's do it. I already saved, so we should be fine. Ready? Let's go. All right. First boss battle. This is beyond the level of an ordinary shadow. Watch yourself. Process of elimination. Oh, they're weak to fire. Yes. Let's go, Junpei! Hell yeah. All out attack, baby. He doesn't seem too bad so far. Although he hasn't swung back yet, so we'll see how much damage he can do to us. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, um. Yeah, Junpei's dead. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. They nerfed the mini boss? Oh, did they? Doesn't feel like it. <laughs> Come on, Orpheus. I guess we'll just have, um, Ikari heal the entire time. We should be fine, as long as I play my, my cards correctly. There 
go. Oh, the only one's Dizzy. Nice. Let's get Augie on this one. Get the one more. Nice. Now they're both down. Hell yeah. That was a pretty easy mini boss. Aside from Junpei dying once. Alright, level 6, level 5. I feel like I'm vastly under level compared to the enemies. Look, I should be doing more grinding, especially on merciless mode. Well done, everyone. That was a formidable opponent. Heh, <laughs> okay, my stunning performance aside, aren't all of us totally on the same wavelength now? I mean, Junpei did pretty well other than dying. You're doing great, but I'm sure that last battle must have worn you out some. If you continue on now, there's no telling where you find another teleporter. Since so this is one right here, I suggest you make use of it and stop for a break. Should I really stop? I don't know, man. I kind of want to keep going. Is that? There's a shadow up ahead. I'll take this opportunity to teach you about shifting. Shifting? Okay. Alright. Let me tell you about a new tactic called shifting. Do so I just hit shift? Knock an enemy down. Oh. Once you do, your offense can follow up with whoever oh. you your action to. Oh, wait, hold on, that's sick. If you can coordinate well with your team, you'll be able to claim victory with even greater efficiency. So I can knock down two of these guys and then switch to another person. You should all be experienced enough to pull this off now. Go ahead and give it a try. Also known as throwing responsibility. I'd say it's working together. Hit this. The enemy's down. Good hit. And then how, how do I... Oh, shit. There we go. Yes, sorry. There's a lot of good features in this. This one's weak to physical attacks. Oh, never mind. Oh, is it weak to swords? Is that how that works? That's good to know. We have different physical attacks in this game. Let's keep going over here. Oh, shit. Slash! Got him. I'm actually trying to be smart about this. Okay, you're weak to this. I'm gonna shift it to Makoto. Hey. Let's go. I'm actually playing smart now. I'm not just overpowering the enemies. Oh shit, here we go. Careful. I'm detecting nearby. a powerful enemy up ahead. Everyone stay sharp. All right, let's go. Move out, squad. Keep your eyes on me. And it's Junpei. Junpei. <laughs> Junpei is leading the charge. I've said his name wrong multiple times. Opponent, but if the intel is available, I can help you. Okay, I can what's the intel? The most effective attack based on the enemy's weakness. Ooh, okay. But I can only assist like this when we know the enemy's oh. weakness. Okay, this is shit that I already know. Master hand, crazy hand, and a bike. <laughs> All right, the enemy's what down. Do? The enemy's down. Can I try to dizzy one of them? I just realized my teammates are low on health. Probably should have given them healing items. We'll try to get rid of these guys first. There we go. Yuri's taking one down. I don't know what he's weak to. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Yikes. Bewilder. Oh god, what is the stress? We should really focus on that guy, but I kind of want to get rid of these guys first. Uh, it's definitely most important that we keep Makoto alive, so let's do that. Bro's dead. Now we good, we good. Oh shit. Oh, good dodge, Junpei. I don't know what's effective against this man, so we'll just use whatever we can. Here is this fire. Oh, he's weak, to, he's weak to win! Let's go! Wait, there's no all out attack? Yeah, just guard his Junpei. Yes, guard. Better not attack Junpei. Oh. Damn it. Well, he really shouldn't have attacked Junpei. It really sucks that Ikari doesn't have any SP left. Oh, there we go. I guess we couldn't team attack as Ikari because he was distressed. Oh, I could have healed the distress. Oh, I'm an idiot. Angel. Angel. Oh shit, we're gonna run out of SP. Uh-oh. I mean, I could keep restoring our HP. I don't have SP for Yukari. This fucking sucks. Uh, what if I just attack? Yeah, of course he missed. Oh god. Damn! We're gonna run out of SP, man. Oh no, this is bad. This is really bad. You just get extra damage. Uh-oh. Nice! Let's go! I'm getting really lucky right now. Getting very, very lucky. Let's go. Oh, he should be dead. Is he? Let's go. Kill him. Yes. We did it. Oh, that fight was actually kind of tough, man. I was really concerned. We can move on now, but the next floor doesn't look any different. You don't think it'll be the same old thing forever, do you? I have a feeling it might be. I should probably go back now. We're really low on SP. Bro's gonna get jumped by the Reaper. No, fuck that. I'm out. <laughs> I'm getting the fuck out of here. I ain't finding the Reaper in this game. Fuck that. Yo, what's up? 
Hey, what's up, Kenji? Hey, man. I'm gonna get some ramen after school. You wanna come? Ooh. Uh, why so out of the blue? Why are you asking me? Why can't I just sit here and sulk in peace? According to Igor, the strength of a social link is the strength of a persona. I decided to go with him. Hey. <laughs> Damn, he's really slurping down those noodles. In the female MC, it's Junpei asking you out for ramen. Ah. What, is this guy gonna be my boyfriend then? Well, was I right or was I right? Soup here tastes great, doesn't it? I'm sure it does. It's ramen, man. I We've love ramen. Put some special ingredient in it. Something no other ramen shop would ever use. Maybe there's a secret clue in the shop's name. Maybe. It's like the uh, Krabby Patty secret recipe. I always geek out a little whenever I eat here. Just shut up and eat. Wait, no, this is a social link now. I really shouldn't fuck with the dialogue. My boy Kenji gonna have that forsaken riz. <laughs> By the way. I hear you and Takebasan are pretty close. Damn, this guy's really interested in our relationship with Yukari. Damn, you just transferred here too. Well, I can't blame you. Man's got to be aggressive in this day and age. <laughs> hey, let's hang out after school again sometime. Let me know when you're free. Okay. I'll tell you all about my secret plan, dude. You're gonna flip when you hear it. Kenji Tomachika seems to have taken a liking to me. Whoa. What do you mean by that? A voice is ringing inside my head. I hear voices in my head. They counsel me. They understand. They talk to me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why there was such a huge pause there. Magician Arcana. That was Yosuke, right? There's a note that says, Track team now recruiting. No slow cloaks, please. Ugh, I can't read. Hmm? Aren't you from Miss Toriyumi's class? Oh, you want to join the team? I'll take care of all the paperwork, so go ahead and introduce yourself to your new teammates. Hey. So, starting today, he's an official member of the team. I'm Makoto Yuki. I still state my name. Welcome aboard. You guys want my address and phone number too? She's our team manager. She'll answer any of your questions. Okay. You're a second year, right? Since we're in the same grade, you can just call me Yuko. Yuko? We got Yuko and Yuki. Let's see. Hey, Miyamoto. Miyamoto? Yes. This here's our future team captain. A great runner and plays as well in competitions. You two are in the same class, right? Miyamoto, keep an eye on the new guy here, okay? You got it. All right. You're the guy who went out with Takeba on the first day of school, right? You're practically a celebrity. Oh my god. Why does everyone bring that up? You've seen me around, right? Ugh. I'll be real with you. I haven't. <laughs> and if I have, I probably don't remember. Then long story short, from now on, you're mine after school. Huh? What do you mean by your mine? Chariot Arcana. That was uh, Chihei. It's Yuko, the team manager. Should I say hello? Yeah, sure. Why not? Say hi to her. Oh, hello. Oh, Yuki kun. What's, What's up? Wanna walk home together? We asking her out? Actually, no. I'm in a hurry today. Oh. See ya. Dang it. Damn, we got rejected. Let's go to Tartarus. Fuck it. Yeah. I don't have any better weapons or much improvements from last time, so hopefully we don't get fucked up. Wait, is that a shadow up ahead? It's a golden hand. Those ones are fairly rare. I suppose we can call them rare shadows. They can be tough to catch, but the potential rewards are worth the trouble. Hey, isn't Bitch. That one different from oh, the others? Fuck. Fuck. Get back here. Get back here, you fucking... Ah! Now, if I remember correctly, Golden Hands don't have a weakness. Well, let's just attack. Yeah, of course you miss. Thanks, Yukari. Appreciate it. Nice. Does this work? It blocked? This will just bash. Fuck! Why do we keep missing? Don't let it escape, please. Don't run. Don't run. Come on, hit it. What the fuck? Why can't Yukari hit it? What the fuck? Oh, he ran away. God damn it. Damn it, dude. That would have been so much at XP, man. Uh-oh. Careful. The enemy's nearby. That's a very intimidating boss. Move out, squad. Keep your eyes on me. I love how Junpei's always acting like he's the leader. I love it. The enemy's attacks are growing stronger. Uh-huh. If you're being overwhelmed by the enemy's assault, protect yourselves by guarding. Oh, this is when we have to start guarding. Okay. If you're guarding, then even if your weakness is struck, you can avoid being knocked down. Okay. Try and make use of that in battle. Okay. Let's find the weakness, boys. Trial and error. Oh, freeze. Okay. Who are we going to need for this? Please don't tell me we need Yukari for this one. Okay, we don't. Augie? Or is this one of the no weakness personas? Yeah, it definitely seems like it. Uh-oh. 
Who's weak to that? Oh, Junpei is. Oh, fuck. Not good. You've been knocked down. Tough luck. Mm. Excellent. Okay. Um, let me use this on Junpei. I guess Yukari is just our resident healer, so we'll heal Junpei. I'm gonna rely on that evasion thing that I just did, so... Power Slash! Okay, never mind. That's not worth it. Okay, it was not a good idea to rely on that. Ow! Jesus, dude! I don't know what to do, man. Let's heal Yukari. She's really important. Okay, and then we'll heal... Let's just heal Junpei with the medical powder. Junpei literally has nothing to fight this guy, so I guess we'll just guard. Our oh, fuck! Now he's buffing himself up? I guess we could do this. Decrease the defense. We're so fucked right now. I'm just keep guarding. Uku, pray and freeze. What the fuck? Okay. Um, hmm. Fuck. I'll switch back to Fornius and Bufu. <laughs> Give me a freeze, please. I don't know what tactic we should be using here. Pretty sure it's weak to zero. Oh, shit. It would have helped to get a Zeo persona. Ow. You face dead. I'm almost dead. Fuck. Oh, it is weak to that. Sweet. I wish I had a Zeo persona. That would've helped. What the fuck do I do, man? I have a feeling I'm severely underleveled for this. I only have one of these left. Fuck. We're screwed after this. Yeah, I don't feel too good about this. Attack reverted? Well, at least we have that. God damn it. Woo! Nice dodge. I'll keep praying for the freeze then. Oh my god. Makoto's almost out of SP. Garu? Actually, wait. Why did I use Garu? I should just... I should just heal Junpei. Fuck. You're not weak to that. Yeah, you resist that. That's fine. Maybe attack? No, there's no point. We'll revive Junpei then. I'm just gonna block with him. Maybe he can be like a meat shield for us. Magaru. That's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna use a snuff soul on myself. Tower Gazar. Oh shit. Assault dive. Oh my god! There goes our healer! <laughs> He said, fuck that shit, I ain't attacking Junpei anymore. He's blocking too much. Stop blocking. Alright, there we go. And another one bites the dust. And another one gone, and another one gone, and another one bites the dust. While we're at it, how about we spice things up every now and then, like, by changing up the leader. <laughs> he still wants to be leader. Wait, it wouldn't be wise for a change in command in the middle of an expedition. We're making steady progress under Yuki's lead, so let's continue as we have been. Oh, okay. Fine, sure, I guess. But I'm pretty sure I could just take down the enemies here all by myself. Definitely not, after how much he got fucked up in that fight. Uh, I think I played enough Persona 3 Reload for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, see you all later.